Ben and Lyndon are talking which teams acquired who today to help you get to know some of our Suncoast team's newest additions in today's Extra Innings. Happy Friday Eve, it's Extra Innings with Ben and Lyndon. Ben Bobick, Lyndon Blake. We're outside on a bench, but it has some symbolism to it, does it not, Lyndon? Well, I mean, we're pretty much bench warmers right now, but not these free agents here on the Sun Coast. Yes, yeah, so a lot of the teams made some big free agent signings this off this off season. They're going to help the club this year, and we're going to start down in Port Charlotte with the Rays, who, who signed a young pitcher who's looking to prove himself. Yes, Jose De Leon got acquired after the Logan Forsyth trade. Now, Rays fans. We're kind of disappointed when Forsyth got sent to the Dodgers because he was known as Mr. Consistent. But this new young pitcher had to start with the Dodgers last year. They say he's going to start out in Durham, but could see some Major League ball again this season. Yeah, they're just filling him out, obviously, spring training, get him down there in Durham, get some uh, get some uh, practice and whatnot and, get, and everything going on. But um, I think he could be a factor. He's 24 years old. He's eager to play for the Rays, and obviously with a, a fresh start here in Tampa Bay. So uh, we wish him nothing but the best, and we'll keep an eye on him, obviously. Yeah, and Coach Jim Hickey will make sure he develops these pitchers. That's what he's good at. So mm -hmm. great spot for have him on the Tampa Bay roster. But on the opposite side of the mound, we have a catcher in Jesus Sucre. Now, people said they kind of yawned when he got acquired, but this past Saturday, he had a homer in his last game. He had a base hit, threw out a base stealer, and threw out a bunter. Oh. Impressive day. Yeah, hey, you, this is where you, you prove the doubters wrong here, and, and you get your work in, you get comfortable, and, and obviously for the Rays, they're very blessed. They only have to go, you know, an hour up the road to where they play home ball, so it's not like they're coming down from the north, but teams that are coming down from the north. Baltimore Orioles. Wellington Castillo has been a guy we've been talking about here on extra innings a lot, and he's going to fill that catcher void left by Matt Wieters, and and obviously a lot of question with him going to the World Baseball Classic. But I think they're really impressed with this play so far at this spring training. Out of the pitchers are enjoying having him. He has a good bat, so. Yes, he's going to be leaving in the next couple of days, but I think, you know, Baltimore will be excited to have him on their roster. Absolutely. They're knocking the balls out of the park left and right. And some other, other guys are up in north, up in Bradenton, the Pittsburgh Pirates acquired Pat Light, a pitcher. And uh, he's been making some waves lately because he's a splitter. A guy is a splitter nowadays, and, and it's been working effective. Obviously, another guy you've seen in yesterday's highlight Phil, highlights, if you will, Phil Gosselin from the Diamondbacks, looking to fill that infield void. That um, so utility-wise fill-in guy, the left by Young Ho Gung, who is obviously dealing with some off-field issues and the departure of Sean Rodriguez. But the Pirates have like to add those arms. They're getting Drew Hutchinson as well, um, who is competing for that fifth spot. So a lot of guys that are new to the to the Sun Coast here, and uh, a lot of people who are looking to make a difference. Yes, and it's always good to have the the veterans approval. I know Chris Archer commented on Sucre saying he was very impressed with his defense. That's always nice and you're the new guy in town to have people having your back. Exactly and we have your back always here at Extra Innings and of course at SNN. We'll be back again tomorrow before we kick off the weekend festivities. Thanks for joining us.